Yo, it's 2016, mother... I'm just kidding. What's up, guys? Dan Whitmer from Zendu Nation. Happy 2016. Today, I want to talk a little bit about how to approach dry January. For those of you who don't know, dry January is a 30-day challenge for the month of January where you don't consume any alcohol. Do I think that's fantastic? Absolutely. I've done challenges, Brandon's done challenges where we don't consume alcohol for a certain period of time. And let me tell you, it makes your body feel pretty amazing. Let's take a little recap of what just happened for the past six weeks because up until the end of November and all of December, a majority of people were treating their bodies like complete shit. And now I'm not yelling at you or saying that that's a terrible thing. You should have been having fun with your friends or family or else why would, why would we do all this stuff? But my point is, it's very easy for a lot of people to go and say, okay, now I'm gonna do this 30 day challenge where I drink no alcohol. And in reality, that's great. However, my hope for many of those people is that they don't fall off the bandwagon after and go right back into binging for the next 11 months. And just as a disclaimer, guys, if you don't drink, you don't need to start, okay? Brandon and I consume alcohol in moderation, and yes, we enjoy it. It's probably something that we will always enjoy. However, let me just be clear in saying alcohol has no benefit to your body. There's no essential nutrients. It's a toxin, and also, as soon as you consume alcohol, your body's like, look, dude, I'm sorry, food. I, I can't burn you right now. I'm, I'm sorry, pizza that I just ate. I can't burn you right now because alcohol came in, so we gotta kick his ass out. So alcohol, uh, the burning of alcohol takes priority over other food and just know that it is not something that is needed for you to live a long life. However, we do understand we live in a realistic society where we want to have fun, go out for drinks with clients, drink with friends and family every now and then. And you know what guys, that's okay. My recommendation for you for dry January is if you're going to do it, write down what you are feeling and how not drinking alcohol is affecting you. I know that personally, I did a month of just complete dry, like no alcohol last year, and I felt amazing. I could see immediate increases in my energy, mood, the uh, leanness and vascularity of my body. So the only way that you're gonna be able to sustain those results and continue and not fall back into binging out on alcohol for the, the next 11 months of 2016, is to become more self-aware and record how your body feels during the dry January challenge. So now I'm giving you two challenges. Do the dry January challenge and I also challenge you to make an ongoing running list of things that you're noticing because you are not consuming alcohol for the month of January. Comment below if you got questions about alcohol, what types you should be drinking to have the leanest body possible. Just leave me a note below, ask questions, let's engage, and also have a great start to 2016. Sendu Nation, out.